A Stockton man says he was attacked by deputies while being booked into the San Joaquin County Jail. But tonight, the sheriff's office says that's not the entire story here. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is live with what both sides are saying tonight. Marissa? Oh, that's right. Well, Jacob Servant tells us his life will now be changed forever for what happened inside these doors. We spoke with him just 19 hours after he, after he returned from the hospital. He looks unrecognizable. Tonight, the sheriff's office is now investigating what happened at the hands of three of their own. I could just feel like my bones are like so close to being fractured. Jacob Servin can barely walk. His eyes bloodshot, bruises on his face and all over his body. A broken nose, he says, all came at the hands of three correctional officers. I'm battered all over the body. Um, just tons of, tons of bruises. After he was booked into the county jail, he says the officers started using racial slurs, calling him a terrorist. I'm not even. Indian or Arab, so but that makes it right for an Arab to come and be in my shoes. That's when he claims he was taken to a closed off area where his hands and feet were held down by the officers, using their batons and their fists in a violent attack. In a chair like this and held my hand behind my back and he, 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 brought, he brought my neck all the way back like this and they beat me with my head like this. Uh, for a long period of time. This is Servin's mugshot, pictured smiling just before this confrontation happened. He was arrested for suspicion of public intoxication outside a local bar. The sheriff's office says he was drunk and combative during the booking process and started to fight with officers, none of which the sheriff says carries a baton. Usually they're stuck with just using in their hands and fists. I know during this fight, uh, that uh, my officers were kicked in the chest, kicked in other parts of their bodies, and he attempted to bite the female officer. All of this, Servant says, never happened. If that was the case, I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't be talking to you. I'd still be in jail with the new charges. Why am I free if I did that? Now, the sheriff says right now there is no reason to put any of the officers involved in this on administrative leave. He also says it is out of character for any of these officers to use racial slurs. That, again, is under investigation.